Cool. Oh, it's different up here. Okay, great. Hi. I studied at um, Wimbledon College of Art and I did painting. Um, and I graduated three years ago, so I've been in the studio since. And now I'm studying at the Royal Drawing School for a year, on the postgraduate drawing year. So I'm just going to introduce you to my work generally and then talk about the commissions I've done. So I make um, oil on canvas paintings of kind of aspirational interiors that I find images and then um, sort of build them up in quite thin layers of paint. Um, so the images themselves are quite set-like. Um, they're set um, and they're set for the camera so they're lit professionally and they're like highly glossy um, photographs. So there's um, quite a strong feeling of absence which I think helps um, evolve a sense of narrative, so they're not every day, they're kind of um, otherworldly in a way, they're kind of narrative spaces rather than real spaces. Um, and so the application of paint is really, really thin and I start with a coloured ground and all of the paintings are built from that coloured ground and there's a conversation between the object and colour and it they all relate to one another. So it's kind of a fine balance of um, how much information I leave in or leave out. So often, like in that previous piece, there's an objects that I don't paint in. And I think that I'm interested in narrative and written narrative and history and storytelling. So it's got something to do with that um, selection of information and presenting it um, in a certain way, and I hope it encourages the viewer to be involved in the story making somehow. Um. And sometimes there are people, but usually not. But um, figures aren't normally emotive characters, they're more like signifiers or a prompt to think about the space different, uh, differently. Um, and because they come from photographs, they usually there's quite a strong language of photography within the pictures themselves. But it also has something to do that kind of flat areas of colour that um, I use have quite a strong connection to print printed images. And I start by blocking in sort of a large area of negative space that I'm interested in in the picture and then build things from there, so other negative spaces or objects, and then it kind of work like satellites, the way that I build up images. Um, and motifs that I'm particularly interested in are patterns um, against sort of more representational, reflective surfaces. There's a play between flat space and more, illusion, more of an illusion of space or light on surfaces. Um, and I like that shifting between reading of different spaces within a picture. And I like reflections, other sp doorways to other spaces, and ladders at the moment, quite a lot. <laughs> I think they have, I think it's something to do with, I think a ladder has a real sense of scale to it, and it has a, a kind of, um, ladders and columns, kind of figure, figure proportion, which is interesting. So, commissioning. <laughs> this is one of the commissions I was involved in, which was the Cool Penguin Project. And what was great about it was that it was something I definitely wouldn't have chosen to paint at that time, kind of penguins in different environments. Um, but it spoke to me quite strongly, because obviously they're in captivity, and it's to do, and I was interested in that kind of, the environment they're kept in. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it was for a company whose logo was penguins and they hired, it was through the Mile Galleries, and hired uh, loads of great artists. I got to meet them all, it was great. And we all went to the zoo together to look at the penguins. Um, and each artist was given a different <coughs> breed of penguins, so I got African penguins, um, <coughs> which was great. And so, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but it was quite, broad in the sense that you could paint anything to do with that penguin. So it was your in artistic interpretation of the brief, which was great. Um, so I chose to focus on them in captivity. So this image 
um, spoke to me because it it's that sense of kind of like community within a small space, which I thought related somehow to a working office. So I kind of was aware of the office landscape for it. And also this kind of blue feels quite like um, artificial, which I, you know, in the original image kind of drew me in. And then this one, I chose a particularly outdated um, enclosure, which I thought I don't know, really striking and there's just a little figure here um, but it's quite loose paint work which I really enjoyed and it's just something I wouldn't have painted before but I found it really enjoyable to paint and there was a kind of freedom to it um, for it not being my kind of interior work um, that I really enjoyed and this was the second commission so this um, someone commissioned me to come into their house which is a beautiful four-storey Soho house that used to be a brothel and so it's a gorgeous structure it's got layered history it was very beautiful and they beautifully painted it all this the dark this kind of black corridor space it's very dramatic um, so I just had a conversation with them about what kind of space within the house that, that they were most interested in and came and walked around the house with them, took photographs, did some sketches and spoke to them about different kind of viewpoints that they particularly liked. And it was, it was really rewarding because, because it was a different experience for me, usually finding photographs and working for them. This was a real space, um, a real living space, and I'd explored it with them and walked up and down. And there was this real... What really struck me about the house was how tall it was and how you kept on climbing up different layers of space. Um, <coughs> so yeah, it was, a it was a really different experience to making a painting straight out and it was really interesting. And there were definitely paintings that I, this was the second one, um, that I probably wouldn't have made otherwise. And that was that layering of history and of narrative and their like, living space that really struck me about making them. I think that's it.